Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I recently did the Genshin Impact 2.7 Archon quest over on my Twitch streams, and I've got to say it, it's one of my favorite quests now. It is up there for me alongside some of the best Raiden Shogun's quest, the 2.6 Archon quest. It blew me out of the water, and it gets me super excited on what's to come next in Genshin. Now, this is part two, since I had to split up the entire quest into two parts. Otherwise, it would have been three hours long. So if you haven't seen part one yet, the link is in the description below, or just check out my channel and make sure to watch that one first before you watch this one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this quest. Is it one of your new favorites, or was it mid? Let me know. But anyways, enjoy the video. Are you all right? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. Shh, we'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we have. Maybe the key to our escape is hidden in some detail I've overlooked. <sighs> all right, well... Oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything that you told us about. Okay. No, I meant if you're going to analyze the facts, count me in. Cool. All right, let's go talk to the other people. You don't look well. I guess things still haven't improved. It's okay. Not really. You don't have to go into all the details. <sighs> Sometimes I really envy the boss. Oh, because he just like does, doesn't think. Yeah. I'll talk to Shao last. Let's talk to Ida first. Hey, Ushi. Looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep, huh? Is she sleeping? Our little. He called her their little lavender melon. That's so cute. Man, she looks wiped out. It's kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. <laughs> Aw, poor thing. He cares about Paimon. That's so cute. And that little dude looks done in two. Uh, I'm kind of worried about him. Oh, I sleep like this when I'm in jail. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> huh. I do slumber like a king. Traveler, when did you get here? Bro, I've been standing here. Do you think Ito smells like Axe body spray? Is he still sleeping? Shao's eyes are tightly shut. He's not making a sound, so no one has the heart to interrupt him. True. He uses Ox, obviously. So sorry, Ox, yeah. Wait, where are we? The chasm? We're still underground. Pamela, are you feeling better? Yep. Right, because she's never seen a crazy place like this before. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought the best guide in all of Tibet could end up so out of their depth? <laughs> all right, fatigue and fear are normal. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Paimon just had the weirdest dream. There were cattle mooing constantly. Prob probably beefcake over here, dude. He's so cute. I love him. Uh, Ushi, were you looking after Paimon? Yes, he was. Let's go. Best guard cow. <sighs> He's awake. <sighs> He's so hot. Traveler, it looks like the Conqueror of Demons is awake. Hello? How was your sleepy poo? Beefcake be twerking. How do you feel? I'm fine. Don't worry. I like how <laughs> Beefcake just rolled into the shot, dude. The karma I carry is dangerous to humans. Keep your distance. But I just want to get close, Xiao. Let me in. Well, I have Adepti blood in me, so I wouldn't worry too much. Even so. What happened while Paimon was sleeping? How did Xiao get here? Oh, yeah, she was asleep. Oh, yeah, long story. With a little help, I was able to find my way here. All thanks to Yanfei. Conqueror of Demons, could you tell us what happened before you joined us? No need to be so formal. Just call me Xiao. He's either starting to be more friendly or he likes Yanfei. I mean, how would you not like Yanfei? He's like, just call me Xiao. I'm all good. Just call me Xiao. Oh, sure. 
It was a senseless battle. I came here looking for someone, but when I found them, they weren't anything like how I expected. Who? Madam Ping says that you usually base yourself at Wang Shuin to guard the main road through Dihua Marsh. Yes. It's unusual for you to go looking for someone yourself. Are they an adeptus? <sighs> I'm looking for a Yaksha called Bosatius. Another Yaksha? I'm sure, I've heard that name. So have I? Bosatius. Is that one of the five Yakshas? Like you? I thought that you were the only one left. Yeah. Aren't the other four gone from the world? Right. You could say that. But Bosatius' body is the only one that was never found. Really? Yakshas deal with God's remains all the time. And we become tainted by karma. Over time, it inevitably drives us to madness. The last time I saw Bosatius, it was the day he lost his mind. Wait, is Bosatius... Yolan's ancestor? Maybe? Because she had said something about her ancestor like losing their mind. Maybe? He left. No one knew where he went, and I never heard from him again. But Bosatius was the eldest of us. Uh huh. He once told us, as Yakshas, we will experience countless wars. Whether we live or die, we must promise to take care of each other and know each other's fate to the very end. Did he forget his promise because he lost his sanity? It's possible, but I did not. I am the sole survivor. So it is my duty to find out the fates of the others. I see. What made you come to the chasm? Did you hear something about Bosatius being here? Did you know that 500 years ago, the beasts of Conria invaded the chasm? Actually, yes. I did know that. Or a thing or two. That war lasted a long time. It is said that in the midst of the battle, a brave Yaksha was seen putting up a heroic fight. But no huh. one knew the Yaksha's name. But there were many more than five Yakshas in total, so there's no guarantee it was Bosatius. Yeah. Wow. But you must think it was probably him if you came here to investigate, right? I am by no means certain, and I didn't have any other clues except for this one. But Bosatius was proud. If he had taken part in that war, he would have announced his name. Mm. So at first, I thought the nameless Yaksha couldn't be him. Right. You found Bosatius? Wait. So it was Bosatius you were fighting with? What? what? Andrew? Yes. No way! The invasion of monsters from Conria, the battle in the chasm, and Yelon's ancestor. I have a feeling that somehow these are all connected. Life huh. is full of coincidences, but this is too much of a coincidence. No, nah, this ain't a coincidence. Could this all be related to the fantastic compass mentioned in the will, too? What will? Oh, right. I came here because of a will. Maybe it's not something you've come across much before, but both mortals and adepti sometimes write out their final wishes so somebody else will carry them out after they've passed. It's known as a last will and testament. And this can be done at any time? Whoa, whoa. You want to write a will now? Paimon, stop for a second. <sighs> it was no accident that you saw my illusion that day. This place used your desire to find me to create a trap that you would willingly walk into. Mm -hmm. Pure deception is easy to spot. But the Not truth Ushi, with lies can be a fatal combination. It made sure you heard my real voice to create panic. This one-way communication was the bait. I see. Okay. If we hadn't managed to get in touch through the spatial rift, we may well have lost someone by now. Rather than murdering in cold blood, this space seems more intent on consuming souls. Consuming souls? How is this even possible? Our opponent is very clever. It is not safe to stay here. Everyone, whether I accomplish what I came here to do or not, I must find a way to get you out safely. The focal point? 
I rejoin to warn you that it's extremely dangerous here. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. But how do you know? What happens if we get devoured? You might become a shadow of your former self, wandering the underground like a lost soul. I ain't gonna lie, that sounds pretty cool. Hmm. Sounds like you saw them too. Galon, you're back. I've been back a while. I was listening to the conversation. I've seen some strange things here too. Objects that shouldn't be here. Strange figures appearing, then vanishing. Lost souls. I don't think any of it is real. So they're just illusions? At first I had the same thought, but it's not that simple. There may come a day when these illusions become real and attack you. Yo, will we get to see that? From what you were saying a moment ago, it sounds like you know a way out of here. I can't say for sure. It's just a guess. As Yanfei said, this space is chaotic and unstable. But it has its weaknesses. By attacking the point where both spaces connect, uh -huh. I was able to create a rift and move from one to the other. Dude, Xiao is super smart. So, if I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. Really? So powerful attacks can affect the space itself. I had wondered if that was a possibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? Is he gonna... No. Shall better not... Shall better not. You better not sacrifice yourself. I mean, it will take everything I've got. Oh. Wait a minute. When you said you were gonna get us out safely, you mean... You're gonna stay here? No! You cannot. We will not allow that. No. No, no, no. You can't be serious. <sighs> I think he's serious. I saw Bosatius underground. That's when I realized the horror of this place. A single blast can only create a very small opening. To send you back to the outside world, I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. I know how to fight to the bitter end. I can do this. He's so cool. Ugh. But if this takes all the energy you have, you'll... No way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. I'm on neither. It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind. Exactly. We should all leave together. It's only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. <laughs> that's but true, that's I guess. that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. Yeah? B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. Mm. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's going to work. It's not worth it. What is wrong with you, dude? To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. We're crazy. What if I told you this is my last will? Oh, get out of here. You just learned what the hell that even was. You just learned, and now you're going to use it in every sentence. I just learned what that is. What if this is my last will? Hmm? Legal loopholes. You? That's your strategy, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's smart. No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed, or even that it's safe. You said it yourself. Yaksha's pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? The battlefield is a treacherous place. Every opportunity you take, you put everything on the line for. Uh -huh. If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. Dude, he is so cool. I love uh, this quest is making me like Xiao even more. I've been in my fair share of treacherous battles, so I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like this until the very, very end. <laughs> You say these things in the hope that we will understand and accept them. But if you don't even know that your self-sacrifice is going to pay off, all you're doing is hurting morale. Besides, if you were really so determined to end it all, you wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. 
Dude, Yalan. Yalan is just tearing through his defenses. And anyway, losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Dang. Yalan, don't be so harsh. <sighs> Point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. Huh. These two just been talking over here? There isn't. Or if we don't find it. And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? As things stand, there's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, we certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. True. Is Yolan seriously getting annoyed? Did someone say a strong enough strike can break us out of this place? There yeah, he is. He's right. here to break the tension. No one's staying behind to let anyone else out, all right? Enough talk. It's time for action. Yeah. Come on, whatever you are. Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you. Oh my god, please. <sighs> Easy now. Have a taste of this. Yeah! Yo, what? Okay. <sighs> okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <coughs> But check it out. Bro, he's strong. <laughs> if you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Okay, he pretty much just used all of his energy. Should have seen this coming. <sighs> Why do you always have to do things like this? Shinobu. What happened to Ito? Did he pass out? Yes, Paimon. The boss used up all his strength in one punch. Maybe that's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. I don't know if they did that on purpose. I don't know if they did that on purpose. Maybe this is a far stretch. But Max Middleman also voices One Punch Man. Yes, Hoot! Hoot! <laughs> you guys get it! You guys got it! Max voices One Punch. Uh, Saitama. <laughs> That's Let cool. Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. Mm. That's definitely a one punch uh reference. He did this because he heard us arguing, right? <sighs> the thing with boss is he just can't stand conflict between teammates. Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki game, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. <sighs> Today he's done it again. He may not have known you for very long, but when he said he sees everyone as part of the same team. He truly means that. Oh. Another thing with bosses, he hates it when other people sacrifice themselves, but he always seems to end up doing it himself. Mm. That said, there's a slight distinction to be made with him. That's actually really cool to like learn that about Ito, though. You know. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself. Because he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. I think he does now. Giant eagle alert! No. But wasn't he just doing the same thing Shell suggested? <sighs> so stupid. Why didn't you try stopping him? The boss is hardly open to persuasion. Besides, he always acts without thinking. There's no doubt that That's he true. really thought he was about to solve everything in one hit. I mean, he kind of almost did. <sighs> it's not just him either. The other guys in the Arataki gang are more or less the same. That's why they need someone like me to clean up after them. She's the glue. She keeps the Arataki gang together and functioning properly. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. I get it. Besides, often his harebrained intuition is surprisingly on point. We might punch our way out of here yet. Hmm. <sighs> Paimon, you're okay? Paimon's starting to like Ito. I'm sorry. Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. Still, if this was an Arataki gang issue and you mm -hmm. were one of our members, 
I have to say I'd side with Yelan on this one. The boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up. And he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. Everyone's important. Exactly. Who? Exactly. If we're going to get out of here. Your survival is of huge importance to some people. Uh, no, to a whole lot of people. Aww, Shinobu. Everyone, let's all do our best to try and find a way out. Let's do it. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. The boss flosses please. on him. Don't worry. I got you. All right. You take care of Ido. <sighs> Everyone, it seems this passage doesn't lead to the outside world, but deeper inside. Great. What the? So Ito's efforts were in vain? No, it's still worth exploring. I'll go and take a look first. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I'm with you. Uh, what? So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? The compass, yes. If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality, well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. Okay. Oh, right! No wonder she keeps telling us to keep going. If it's a magical device, it must be super powerful. Well, I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. I will find a way. And there he goes, just disappearing out into the whatever. Oh my god, show. Let him go. But if you're planning on going into that domain too, then come with me. After all, I'm just a lawyer. <laughs> we'll be safer if we team up. Bet. By the way, um, you and Xiao seem pretty close, huh? Yelon got a bit worked up just now, so I just wanted to apologize on her behalf. <sighs> I'm not going to give you his number. He's into brunettes. I have to say, though, if Yelon hadn't spoken out like she did, I'm not sure she would have gotten through to him. Mm. Also, self-sacrifice is something Yelon feels strongly about. She tried to stop whoever it was. From what I know, she's lost comrades in the line of duty before. She and cares. then was rescued herself. Maybe being a survivor is what makes her so against seeing other people sacrifice themselves. How can things ever be the same again, knowing that your life was saved when others weren't? In a way, salvation can also be a burden. Dang. Salvation can also be a burden. That's actually Follow really deep. Her? I'm not sure I would have done anything different. Oh, wait, one second. I'll be right there. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> right. That's much safer. Oh, great. Since Ito can't fight right now, C6 I have to protect you guys. Thank you, Senpai. Please, be careful. We will. Same to you. Anyway, what a weird, wonderful scene. This place is sick. What is that? Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? That's the compass that we're looking for? Even bigger than a cooking pot. Oh, God. What? That's the best description you can come up with? <laughs> You know, it's not my best description. Well, it seems our theory checked out. That's a big compass. Legal opinion. That's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. That is humongous. But if this really is the fantastic compass, it's so huge. How the heck am I going to lug that back to my office? You're on your own, sister. I can't help you there. My back hurts today. Don't give up now. Let's investigate the area first. All right, let's go do it. What the? Are treasure they... hoarders are here. Are they treasure hoarders? How did they even get here? They look familiar. Oh yeah, I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. Rapscallions? When was the last time you heard rapscallions, dude? Hello. They only gave me Yanfei? Good thing I used to main Yanfei. Ow. Can you stop hitting me? Why do they only give me Yanfei? Judging from the appearance and design, in all likelihood, this is the Fantastic Compass. Why is there a small version of the Fantastic Compass stuck in the ground? What is this? 
Why are you? Why do they only give me Yanfei? Why does she just want to take care of this? Ow! Stop kicking me in my face, bro. This is my money maker. No one wants to hire an ugly lawyer. All right, talk to Yanfei. Josh, welcome and how are you, buddy? Easy peasy, just like last time. You know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. The defendant huh. hired them to attack me, just to get back at me. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Being a legal advisor sounds tough. Eh, happens all the time. Luckily, I'm well trained in martial arts, so taking them down was a piece of cake. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Ah, <gasps> recreating scenes recreating from your scenes memory. From Oh, that's insanely cool. Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Using our pat. Oh my god. This is like a horrible therapy session gone wrong. I guess we're going in here. Is this, a title? Uh, this is trippy, dude. Weird. It feels like it's connecting to another world. Another time? Wait, 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 wait. I just. What? What's this? Wait. Rotate it. Huh? A new entrance. Great. Hello? Don't tell me what to do, chat. Monero, welcome and how are you today? I need help. I'll ask you guys. Into some other people here, but apparently not. Yanfei, what's that sound? <gasps> God dang it! I hate these guys. Whose memory is this? Probably what? mine. Watch out! <laughs> Just as I thought. Yolan? Is he Yolans? Yolan, you're here. I will take you down, no matter how many times you show up. Hey, relax. We're together now. <gasps> Let's go. Oh, this is a these are the trial ones. 43k, bro? Wait, is this C1? Wait, I got two of them? Is that a C1 Yolan? C1 Yolan does that, right? Yo, I kind of want a C1 Yolan at this point. That's actually kind of sick. You can do it twice? I ain't gonna lie, Chief. That's actually sick. Yo. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Stop scaring me like that. Dude, being able to do it twice is actually kind of insane. You can't run from death. C3. Oh, it's a, that's her C1? C3. Wait, which one is it? <laughs> You've still got it. Remember how I said I'd seen some illusions myself? Yes. Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. Now that you know, at least we're all on the same page. Oh, he no. said the word fantastic. Hmm. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Maybe. I am saving for Redhorn, that is true. Yenfei, see that thing on the ground? Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the fantastic compass in the distance. It has a close connection to the entire space. Hmm. hmm. It looks somewhat familiar. Let me think. Can I just destroy the tree? <gasps> you can destroy the tree? Now we go forward. Now the tree will never be there. Aha! Aha! Let's go. And now we move forward. Forward again. 
Let's go. So now we go forward. And this door is now red, and that kind of freaks me out. I actually did it. I am the smartest man alive. Proven here on Twitch.tv. Another new space. If everywhere within this space follows the same rules, there must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Yes. Shao. <gasps> I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. Up, oh, Shao. No enemies. Hold on. Wait, is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no, we should go help him. Stay back. This is my fight. Do not come near me. Okay. Oh. Filthy monsters. So many people have died at your hands. Oh. I lured you Are you the opponent? Space because I found your weakness. Jesus! Dark is Bosatius' signature tactic. Die here with me. Huh? No, I don't want to die here with like you. you. Die here. How am I supposed to fight him? Uh oh. This is not going well for Shell. No matter. I know how this ends. Ow, my butt. Ow. I'm so confused. Look, Losatius is showing signs of fatigue. Losatius, Marshal Vritress. Yeah, you're getting weaker. Your strength is finite. But your illusion is not as mighty as you. This is not you in all your glory. I wonder what Rex By left. doing this right? If he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. Please, I'll deal with the rest. We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, what? remember, we must hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. Oh, I think I was. Okay, I was doing it right. Enough, Phantom. Be gone. <laughs> You haven't even recovered from your injuries yet. This You're already fighting purpose. again? Don't worry about me. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Yes. So excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. Oh, that's so sad. He was saying something about... Holding the line at all costs. He fought here. The nameless Yaksha from the legends. Mm. It was him. His eyes are like a little red. It looks like he's been crying. But didn't you say he'd always announce his name? Yeah. How could his name be lost to time? What happened? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot who he was. Because the karma you spoke of drove him to madness? Losatius had already gone mad before he disappeared. Mm. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? Whoa. We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. Mm. Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. Right. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. He couldn't possibly have survived. He fought the monster. Osatius' illusion said he'd discovered the monster's weakness and lured them underground. What kind of place could this be? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. Yeah. Guys, it could just be me, but... I think I'm suddenly feeling more tired than I was. This space is huh. really starting to affect us. I believe Osatius stayed here underground. But now he is gone. 
Dude, this place is cool looking though. Remains. If we don't leave, we may meet the same fate. All right, let's get out of here then. move on. You fought well, Bosatius. Goodbye. Oh, okay. What's this? Let me grab this real quick. George just entered Yanfe mode? Oh, big brain mode. Ew, spider! Ew, get away from me. Die. Die. I hate you. There we go. All right. And now we can go backwards in time. This is this honestly, this domain right here is actually sick. I love this mechanic. This is the coolest quest in Genshin Impact. I'm not I'm no cap best quest in Genshin so far. This is so cool. Let's go back. Yeah. Yes, Vesker, I agree. Big brain time. Sometimes you just got to use your brain a little bit, you know? All right. Looks like there's some information here. Shall we take a look? Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to read this. We have no idea how long it's been since we came with our comrades on patrol, but according to the information we've garnered, the beasts have completely lost all mobility. Indeed, most of them have disappeared. We are victorious, and what a grand victory it is, save that we can never again return home. Uh, Hulan's daughter will turn two this year at... Ching Ming's grandmother is getting along in the tooth. The two of them uh, miss their family sorely, though I myself have no relations. No one does not wish to return home, but for those who are wish are here, okay, uh, the place is very mysterious indeed. I do not know if it is because we miss home or because this place is always like this, but uh, when we're on patrol here, we can see the sights that we can only see it back home. Uh, I used to hear the old folks say that Liwei has a hundreds of years of history when it comes to mining in the mountains, but this doesn't look like any mine. Perhaps this might uh, all be imagination. With what's missing in childhood came back in mining settlement, I wish I could go back there. Hmm. It looks like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed here. Hmm. So, who's this Boyang they mentioned? <sighs> Boyang was one of my ancestors. <gasps> the one who didn't make it back. You mean, Boy Young fought alongside Bosatius? I believe so. Whoa. And the Millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Yes. Uh, so scary. What happened? Come on, let's not stay here. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. And then, we'll finally know the truth. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us. I don't know. And I don't know if I'm ready or not for this. But we'll see. There's nothing here at all. Hello? What a creepy space. This is creepy. It has the feel of the abyss. But where are the opponents? Hmm. I think this is my. <gasps> is this our memory? A memory of what? Of emptiness. That's the power of the abyss. The abyss. So, this place is created purely based on your memory. I'm afraid so, because I will always remember. Remember what? It's always bad news. The purpose of my journey is to find you. I will keep going and it's imagine oh. darker. to get everyone out of here. I'll find a way to survive this and find the lost treasure. Oh, <gasps> her sister. It's, it's... Lumine, wait. Go Tanjiro. <gasps> Lumine. What'd you leave behind? Huh? What's that shiny round thing on the ground? It looks like the compass. A fantastic compass. In the other spaces, the fantastic compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, intact, as if somebody left it here. Oh, she was just a figment of your imagination? Man! So. She appeared as an illusion because you miss her so much, huh? I can sense that she is not here. 
But at least we found this. Yenfei, are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. I mean, it looks like one. Yelon? What is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. Hmm. I just need to do this, and... <laughs> Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Excuse me? Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. Okay. She just knows how to use it. Well, well. This is not what I was expecting. Oh, seems like you've made a new discovery. Uh, my name is Boyang. Here I leave a record of all I know for future generations to see and learn from my experiences. My comrades and myself were ordered by the Chi Sing to take the fantastic compass to the chasm and assist our Millilith champions. But the beasts in this place were incredibly terrifying, and our forces suffered terrible losses. If not for the aid of the Yaksha, I fear that my brother and I might have been slain right then and there. This Yaksha had four hands and behaves in a maddened fashion, even being un unable to remember his own name when in a crazed state. He refers to others around him as Aladis and Menogius. He has mastery over the thunder, and his form is awe-inspiring. One that is this destined to be remembered throughout history. We followed him into battle against the wicked beast for ten odd days, finally breaking out. A snake has its weaknesses seven inches below the head, and these monsters naturally have their weaknesses as well. Having discovered this, the Yaksha had decided on a battle plan to target that weakness. In our previous battle, the surface of the chasm was damaged, revealing a great and enigmatic underground palace in the bowels of the earth. We observed that and the monsters would grow weak when approaching this domain, and so we guess that there is some power there that greatly suppresses these beasts of Conria. Uh, we have suffered too many losses. We must end this quickly, Rong Zhao, and I agree that I would take the Fantastic Compass and lead the group of Middleleth to follow the Yaksha down into the underground palace. We will lure the beasts away and herd them into the depth of the palace. The seal must be completed by myself and the Yaksha within that pal within that place. With Rong Zhao aiding us from the outside, that way we can ensure that the seal will hold. If this works, the chasm front will be secured. However, this means that I, the Yaksha, and the Millilith with us will all be left behind within the underground palace. Yet, the benefits are too great. We have to try this out. What the heck? The warriors have observed day and night and have confirmed that the beasts are heavily limited once they enter the underground palace, almost as if someone, if some power is eating away at them. Some of our wounded have sacrificed themselves and others have split off from the main party in their confusion, never to return. Will the monsters really be vanquished uh, in this way? The unmatched strangeness of the underground palace is something I fear only I have the Yaksha still live to witness. I do not know how much time has passed. The Yaksha is gravely wounded and maddened. I fear he will not live long. As for me, though I remain clear-headed, I can feel Fey mood setting in. I do not know how long I have been here. The Yaksha urges me to depart, forgetting that staying here was the fate we chose. The underground palace is almost like living being. When a breach first appeared in the ground, we leapt down below and gave battle. But even then, I noticed that the breach was quietly closing. I'm sure if there was only a tactic we would have chosen. And even when we attack the rift, the rent open spaces slowly regenerate. Well, then they only regenerate slowly sometimes. Other than the times they have uh, can be swift. It's hard to say. Does this mean that when we damage the ground in the fighting, we damage the other shell of the space? Have we accidentally entered the belly of some mighty leviathan only to be slowly devoured by it? I believe that this should be the end of those wicked beasts. We have outlasted them all. I have tried many paths. There's no way out. The Yaksha has fallen. Only I remain. I see myself, my wife, my children. They approach me, and then they pass through. I must be going mad. How else could I be seeing my family who are in Leeway Harbor? I wish I could go home. But can I? Rong Zhao, sometimes I curse the fact that it was not you who had to undergo this torture. But Rong Zhao, as your elder brother, 
I am glad that you survived. So tired, I can't think straight. This information was left by a thaumaturge called Boyang, who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to investigate. All this information, uh. it was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the fantastic compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Yeah. Karma. <laughs> Correct. One possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, they were tainted by his, by his karma. karma. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects <gasps> for very long. Whoa. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyang ended up staying here for good, too. <clears throat> what the heck? Well, this is just wonderful. So, that's it. There's no way out. <laughs> God, no, Paimon! <laughs> that death stare that Yolanda just gave her. What was that? Huh? I got it! I just had a thought. Give me a second. I just need to double check. Okay. Jinky Scoop? Dude, uh -huh. nose buried deep. Traveler, I just realized something. Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time. Right. But I didn't give any thought to the book that the will is inside of. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. That one. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. Okay. A few years later, great demons haunted the mountains. The mortal and the Adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. And that's not all. The book also says this. When mortal and Adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. I have both adepti and human lineage. Right. Maybe my power can work. Try it out. It worked. I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough, but still, we must be on the right track. Yep, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Look. Something this is like picking up activated inside the fantastic compass by heaven's might and the gods of the five regions Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand That's their voices from when they made the seal Bosatius and my ancestor They sealed off this space at the top together. Yeah hmm. I see it makes sense now Hold on that huge crystal. I saw at the bottom of the chasm I remember when the crystal hit the ruined serpent, there seemed to be an opposing force. Was it an opposing force that delayed the awakening of the space that has not swallowed us? Or did the impact weaken the entrance on the ground? Also, we haven't seen any abyss monsters in here. Could this all be connected? Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. Okay. I can barely move anymore. Oh, you fly, don't complain. Oh. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? You're okay, Trust baby. Me, there's still hope. Let's go. Let's go. Worthless. You are worthless. Let's go. Okay, talk to Yolanda. Let's go. Uh, y'all over here? Hinabu, Ido. We have made some discoveries. Shinobu, Ito, we're back. How's Ito doing? He must be exhausted. He 
because he still hasn't woken up yet. But he's not in any serious danger, so don't worry. Well, that's good. What about you guys? You found something, didn't you? It's written on your faces. But whatever it is, it's bad news, isn't it? Um... We found the fantastic compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever. No, too. we'll find a way. <sighs> Shoot. This isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the fantastic compass, and it responded. But all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Mm -hmm. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass. It was with the method. Remember what the book says? When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Only when a mortal and an adeptus combine their powers can the fantastic compass be fully activated. Uh huh. I'm a mix of human and adeptus. Right. So the fact that the fantastic compass responded to me shows that the system is still functional. Lucky for us, we also happen to have a full adeptus and a human with training in the magic arts. Interesting. So that's what was going through your head. Shao and Yalan need to cooperate. So an adeptus and a human need to channel their power at the same time? Yes, if my guess is correct, then when both of you put your full power into the fantastic compass, uh -huh. we should be able to completely reactivate it. Maybe even reverse oh, it. Oh, I feel like this is gonna get wild, dude. This is gonna get to wild. The intersection between this place and the chasm. If we can reverse it, then we're home free. Right. Awesome. So there's still hope? You bet. Uh, your idea seems reasonable. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, let's all take a quick break. We'll give this thing a try once we're ready. No, I'm ready. I'm ready. After everyone has had some rest. Oh boy. Paimon's so nervous. Don't be afraid. This is going to work. Yelon, Xiao, how are we looking? I'm all set. I'm ready. I don't know if I am. Oh, but Yen Fei, okay. There's one thing you might need to mentally prepare yourself for. Hmm? Mentally prepare? I'm afraid you probably won't be able to take the fantastic compass out of here. From what I can tell, everything within this domain is the result of disordered space time and memories. Mm -hmm. We all came here for different purposes. And everything that's happened here has been in response to our own imaginations and conjecture. Terrifying, but also a miracle. Uh -huh. This space, well, it's more than just a space. Whether there's some kind of higher power at work here, I don't know. But the whole time, it's been reading our minds and responding to us in the form of illusions. Right. Also, according to the history of the chasm, this place must have existed for a very long time. What could have created it? I remember a giant snake just outside the space. Oh, that. Yeah. I was there too. Huh? Wait a second. It was you that shot that arrow? It was. Who else did you think it was? The crystal attacked as a giant snake. That snake is probably a remnant of Conrion's civilization. And crystals are highly effective against it. Maybe there was some sort of opposing reaction between those two forces? <sighs> hmm. If so, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. It looks like I might be the one responsible for all of this. Huh. No, no. You're just trying to help us and solve the problem. You're definitely not to blame for what happened. Yeah, you're fine. If you say so. You could almost liken this bizarre space to a living being that throws all kinds of hallucinations at us to deceive us. Dude, yeah. Everyone we've seen here, and all the paths we've walked, it all ceased to exist 500 years ago. It's not real anymore. Additionally... Most of the things here are static. So if we really do manage to escape, then once time starts moving normally again, the fantastic compass will likely disappear. Okay. That's actually what I think too. That's precisely why it's such a miracle that we even found the fantastic compass to begin with. Facts, dude. This whole thing feels like we're breaking free from our shackles using a spear that by rights should not exist. Okay. This is a long shot, but it may be our last chance. So, whose wish was it that summoned this device? Perhaps it was all of us. Perhaps it was. But maybe there's another reason. Your incredibly strong commitment to your search. It's a shame that we couldn't find your family. 
But if they were here, I'm sure they'd want nothing more than to see you being rescued from this place. Yeah. I gotta say, it does intrigue me, the way we all ended up here together. It was fate. If this is fate, then let's grab it in our hands and turn it around. Leave the boss to Ushi and me. We're ready. Traveler. I'm ready too. Yenfei, you might need to come closer to me when the time comes. Mm. Sure. All right. <sighs> Okay, it's cutscene time. Stars align, bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed, new must surge. By dictum divine, heed these words. Do as I command. I just got chills, dude. That was cool. Aha! Uh -huh. The fantastic compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level, and we may stand a chance. Okay. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. Go shall. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yanxias, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in. Bro, I'm getting chills already. Those like the souls? That's creepy. Watch out. Ooh, let's go. This trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Hmm. Oh my god. This is insanely cool. Oh my god. Now you got this, dude. You're doing great. The music and everything, bro. You guys are almost there. Is he sacrificing himself? No. You're kidding me, dude. Zhang Li saved his ass, dude. <sighs> Zhang Li saved him. I you we're gonna get left behind. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh my god! <sighs> I know what you were thinking, but. 
Never mind. I know I can't talk you out of a mindset that's been built up over a lifetime. Bro, he sacrificed himself to save them. And Zhang Li, last second, saved him. Oh my god, dude. I don't think we were ever going to reach an agreement over the final strategy. But in the end, it was thanks to you that we managed to escape. So, thank you for saving us all. Mm. No. I could not have done this on my strength alone. Thanks to you too, Yolanda. Don't mention it. it. Looks like everyone got out unscathed, but you all look pretty exhausted. Rest up. There's no hurry to move on from here. As for me, I'm gonna check the area for any unusual activity. Dude. She's gone. Paimon didn't even get to say thank you. We'll see her Maybe again. Elon really doesn't believe she made a contribution. It seems like she's convinced Xiao saved us all, including her, and she doesn't know what to say to that. And since it's not easy to persuade Xiao of anything, maybe Yaelon's just given up trying to talk to him. Oh, yeah, that's true. Xiao, she's criticizing you. I don't care. I am not. You speak only the truth. I have no quarrel with that. I will keep your words in mind. Seems like you got through to him. Really? Well, that's great. I count that as quite an achievement. It was a perilous situation we were faced with underground. And it took every single one of us. Bro, for that of us whole to make quest, that man. I feel lucky that we didn't lose anyone along the way. Hey, so Bull Checker still hasn't woken up yet. Oh yeah, Eno. What's up with him? He's asleep forever. Is he? I doubt Let's it. Let's go check on him. Let's go check on Eno. I forgot about Eno, man. You good? Uh, uh, I slept like a rock. Uh, He's good. Dance. Huh? Whoa, what you doing? What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you in any pain? <laughs> A lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The head? What about it? Is there any brain damage from the impact? <laughs> brain damage? You need to tell us if you're not feeling well. You weren't that bright to begin with, so oh my brain damage to the equation. <laughs> Oh, brother. Oh, my God. Paimon, bro. What the heck are you guys talking about? I'm fine. I had an epic power nap, and now I feel like a million That's more. That's so funny, dude. Huh. I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, weren't we underground? How did we get back up here? You wouldn't believe it. It's a long story. We'll fill you in later. Ito, we're indebted to you, Shinobu, and Ushi. We couldn't have escaped this predicament without your help. Whoa. I'm the reason you all got caught up in this. Please accept my apologies. Yeah, that's true. Some way to compensate you for the trouble. Ah, crazy talk. You helped us first. Of course, we're gonna return the favor. Hey, they didn't have to be there. We'd still be in a Liyue jail cell right now. That's not quite correct. You'd be in jail, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Good point. Well, okay then. How about this? To celebrate our newfound friendships, how about you let me take you to Leah Harbor for some sightseeing and a proper meal? That sounds fun. I like the sound of that. Now that you mention it. Wow. I am famished. Oh, I can barely walk here. I'm hungry too, Senpai. Why don't we head straight over? Uh, fine. All right. Well, I promise I'll take good care of your friends from Inazuma. Take it easy, okay? What we just went through was a lot. Have fun. Oh, wait. Yaelon left already. I was going to treat her to some tea. But I'll take this to mean we're square. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most we've ever gotten of Ushi, and I love it. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Is that right? Oh, mo. Oh, okay, I'll let him know. Traveler, flying lavender melon. Ooh, flying sure lavender melon. Words he'd like you to pass on for him. Okay. What? Oh, I want to hear this. <laughs> me too. Count me in. Ito translates what Ushi said for everyone. Good idea. Let's do that. Okay. I never would have guessed that Ushi was so gentle and thoughtful. Never Ushi, our Lord and Savior, dude. Oh. Never judge a bull by its cover. Sometimes the profoundest truths can also be the simplest. I think Ushi's words may well come in handy. 
You betcha. King Ushi, dude. All right, Ito. Shinobu, Ushi, let's go. Oh, yeah. Grub time. In the end, it was about friendship, is what Ushi said. All hail <laughs> Ushi. And now we just have Xiao. Xiao? Finished taking care of business? Oh, there wasn't any business. We were just saying goodbye to our friends. <laughs> You're still here. Uh huh, she came back. I saw the two Inazumans leave with Yenfei, heading towards Liyue Harbor. Aren't you going with them? We still have nah, to I'm like a lone wolf. Out. Hmm, I figured as much. I've checked the area. Nothing strikes me as out of the ordinary. Looks like this chapter has come to a close. Now, I just need to take care of the confidentiality issues. <laughs> Let's hope our friends from overseas can keep their mouths shut. For their own sakes. Or, uh, or what? Or what? Uh, we got it, we got it! We'll make sure they don't say anything! Please don't hurt them. Oh. Got a mean streak, Yolan. You figured me out, huh? <laughs> All right, I'll quit pulling your leg. Everyone really rose to the occasion this time. Yeah. I'll never forget what we went through. Dude, what a... <sighs> Where could that... What a bonding experience, come? am I right? And how has it existed down there undetected for so many years? I don't even know. I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface I of it. I have to investigate this further. I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. Also, I think so. I think it runs deeper. Out at the last minute. They did a good deed, of course, but somehow I couldn't tell anything about them. It must have been someone of great importance. A little bit. Anyway, these questions will have to wait for another time. I have some follow up work to do and reports to make. So it's back to Liyue Harbor for me. See you when I see you. I'll see you when I see you. You knew I was waiting for you? Yeah, it was obvious. <laughs> yeah, it's obvious that you're standing there. There's somewhere I want to go. If you have the time, you can join me. Yeah. Where is it? It doesn't matter, Paimon. A place that has to do with the Yakshas. Oh. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait, where? We're going. I'm coming, Shao. Shao date? Let's go. I'm all for it, dude. The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervases. I remember. Maybe I came here because I had a realization. You mean back when we were underground? What did you realize? It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. Dang, dude. I think you know that isn't true. So maybe these thoughts are my own form of insanity. Hey, don't say that. Sha, we've got something to tell oh, you. Yeah, Ushi wanted us to tell you. It's very important. Hmm? Ushi said he has the power to exercise demons, so people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. Mm -hmm. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. <sighs> Maybe there aren't so many rules about how we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So, he hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. Exactly. Yeah, you shouldn't, like, you know, like, get away from everybody, you know? There will always be someone willing to be by your side. Yep. You don't have to be alone. Like people with visions. They have more resistance 
against your power, right? Yeah. And, and, well, anyway, there's lots of people out there who really care about you. <sighs> Suddenly you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think I was the only one who didn't think that way. Hmm. The Bosatius recorded in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. These are the names of the five Yakshas. I am Alatus, and Minogius is General Capesis. Wait, Shao's real name, Alatus? Huh? Like his Yaksha persona? The others are Bonanus, or General Chizapis, and Indarius, or General Musa. The Yaksha title. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. <laughs> Bosatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Huh. Yelon was right in everything she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks. And both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of us. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments. It took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Well, Paimon still thinks you were amazing. Same. Chat. One's in chat if you thought Xiao was amazing. Yenfei and Yelan are correct. I always prepare for the worst case scenario. This mindset is deeply rooted in me. Even so, it was the most optimistic solution I could think of. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. There was Zhang Li's power back there. In the end, I still had to burden another. But that's how it should be, right? You've known Zhang Li, uh, Rex Lapis, for such a long time. Right. And you've helped him before, so he helped you back. What's the big deal? Yeah. Like, you guys are friends, dude. You guys are friends. Perhaps. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius' memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. I think I felt it too. It's good that one more person will remember him. Ogius, where have you been? <sighs> Brother Yaksha, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, the thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Here we are, the two who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's He's going insane, dude. Regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal. Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> Dude, he looks you so know, cool. Today I saw my family down here. Clearest day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now too? Hmm. Yeah. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously. <sighs> of course, I want to go home. I must have family too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers you do. And sisters. 
Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother, what's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. Alatus, is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's going again. <coughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look, there's someone over there. Who are they? They're... They're my... My... I'm getting chills, bro. I remember now. I know you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me. Boy, you're, you're awake. At least. At least tell me your name. Brother! Brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. Bosatius. I... I am Bosatius. And my destiny is to make the ultimate sacrifice. I said so much today. But... I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. That was so fucking sad, dude. They were a family, man. Shao was his fucking brother, man. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny? The potential of life? The approach of death? Whatever it might have been. By now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. We are destined to misery. And yet, we have no fear. Xiao... You sure it's okay for you to tell me all of this? It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. Bonanis, Minogius, and Indarius all perished. And only Bosatius' fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. That is why I went to the chasm, despite being fully aware of the danger. You're your brother, man. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Unfortunately, the stone did not survive. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us. And Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Mm -hmm. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanis said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Bosatius, Boyang... And all those soldiers. They're all heroes. Heroes. I like that word. Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. But there is good in the world, too. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. I accept your advice. From this day on... Heroes will always look out for each other. Not okay. I am not okay. Dude, I am... Dude, that was sad. I think Xiao's... Um, character development has been... Amazing. I think we've been getting the I think the most character development in any character other than Traveler and Paimon and all of that, right, is Shao. Is Shao. 
the character development, man. And I don't think we're done. I don't think we're done with it yet.